No, no, they can't take that away from me.
universal.
Ben and Diana Carroll. Anthony Wood. The salt air and the sawmills and the bars are full of songs and tears to the passing of the tugboats. People with their big ideas. This next song is by Tom Waits and Kathleen Brennan.
song by Joni Mitchell.
looked at my haggard face in the bathroom light. I looked out the window and saw that red old take flight. I saw a black cloud flying in the blue, blue sky. Just before I love got a lost to see I am as constant as a northern star, I said Constantly in the darkness, where's that at? If you want me, I'll be in the bar On the back car to Blue TV screen light. I drew a map of Canada. Oh, Canada. With your face sketched on it twice. Oh, you're in my blood 
like holy wine It tastes so bitter and it tastes so sweet Oh, I could drink cake I could drink a case of you, darling Still be on my feet Still be on my feet I met a woman, she had a mouth like yours She knew your life She knew your devils and your deeds, she said Go to him, stay with him if you can But be prepared to bleed You're in my blood like holy wine you it tastes so bitter and it tastes so sweet Oh, I could drink a case with you Darling, I'd still be on my feet I'd still be on my feet Porque tudo é tão triste A beleza que existe A beleza que não é só minha Que também passa sozinha Se ela soubesse que quando ela passa O mundo inteirinho se enche de graça E fica mais lindo
por causa do amor
I have a feeling, it's a feeling I'm concealing, I don't know why It's just a mental, sentimental alibi But I adore you So strong for you Why go on solving? Love is calling. I am falling. Why be shy? Let's fall in love. Why shouldn't we fall in love? Our hearts are made for it. Let's take a chance. Why be a failure? Let's close our eyes and make our own paradise. Little we know of it, still we can try to make a go of it. We might have been meant for each other to be or not to be that our hearts discover. Let's fall in love, why shouldn't we fall? In love, now is the time for it While we are young, let's fall in love
Now isn't a time for it while we are young. Let's fall in love. Let's fall in love. Let's fall in love. Let's fall in love. Is in your Your smile can disguise The look of love Is saying so much more Than just words could ever say Says we 
live a charm, charm life. I look out to my left and I look to my right. It's simple but in front of me and back of me. It's nothing more than ecstasy. I It's a song that I, I learned from a, a Nat King Cole record.
tomorrow My dreams begin and end with you I hear you say you'll be there Always for me there I must believe Sí. ¿Qué es eso? ¿Se va? Good. Shaking like a leaf on a tree It's coming loose from the stem Shaking like a leaf on a tree Cause I'm coming loose from my man I'm like a leaf blow Weeping on my pillow For years and years There ain't no sweet man That's where the salt of my tea Down and down he dragged me Like a friendly neck Mm -hmm. 
Was your musical upbringing like? Was it your parents that turned you on to jazz? Yes, my musical upbringing was amazing. My mother sang in church choir and played the organ. It was very musical and loved country and western music. She was from the prairies in Canada, and my father was a huge influence on me. He was a record collector and a piano player. So my parents were a huge influence on my musical tastes and my, my, my especially for being a jazz musician. What was the music scene like where you grew up in Canada? The music scene where I grew up in Canada was actually amazing. I had an amazing band director named Brian Stovall. There were jazz clubs, and I didn't meet the great bassist Ray Brown by going to Los Angeles or New York or a big city. He was actually playing at one jazz club with the LA Four in my hometown in Nanaimo, British Columbia. So you never know who you're going to meet in your small town if you have one great person who has a passion for jazz and will hire jazz musicians to come and play no matter how small the town.
What came first, singing or the piano? The piano came first. I didn't even start singing until I was 26 years old. Canada produced one of the biggest selling artists of the decade, Michael Bublé. You share close musical ties with him. Do you feel like you're both keeping jazz alive? I think we are both keeping jazz alive. We both love Frank Sinatra. We both love um, American popular music from the time where it was written by great American songwriters like Irving Berlin, Cole Porter, George Gershwin. Um, the list goes on. So, yes, I'm pleased to say that I do believe that Michael and I are, are doing our best to keep, uh, to keep jazz and American popular song alive. Your version of Desperado by the Eagles or California Dreaming by the Mamas and the Papas are stunning. Do you reach out to either of those artists for their blessings? Uh, well, um, that's very kind, uh, kind thought, but um, I think Desperado was really inspired for me by Linda Ronstadt and uh, Timothy B. Schmidt from the Eagles uh, sang on I Can't Tell You Why. And so I had his blessing, which was amazing, and so I'm really grateful for that. All the leaves are brown And the sky is gray I've been for a walk On a winter's day I'd be safe and warm If I was in L.A. California dreaming On such a winter's day Dropped into a church Passed along the way Got down on my knees And I pretend to pray You know the preacher likes the cold He knows I'm gonna stay Who gave you your big break? I would say that it was the drummer Jeff Hamilton. He played drums with the great Ray Brown, and he and John Clayton, uh, drums and bass, uh, are still um, mentors to me, and uh, 
still two of the most important people in my life. So I would say Jeff Hamilton, the great drummer Jeff Hamilton, and um, John Clayton, who still nurture me and mentor me. Which artist did you dream of having a career like growing up? I recently saw a picture of my high school annual and under my picture I had the caption, I, I had stated that I would really like a career like Oscar Peterson, quite presumptuous of me, but that's what I was dreaming of when I was about 16 years old, the great pianist Oscar Peterson. Tell us about your new album. How was the process of recording it? The process of recording my new album, Wallflower, was very different than um, the way I usually record, which is all live in the studio. This was recorded uh, where I would come in and sing um, with David Foster accompanying me, and then we added a lot of people later, a lot of musicians later, so it was done uh, much differently, but I knew what I was going into, and I enjoyed the process. I'm not in love 
so don't forget it It's just a silly phase I'm going through And just because I call you up Don't get me wrong Don't think you've got it had a beautiful career for sure what's the one thing that you would still love to achieve I would still love to achieve being somewhat satisfied with the performance <laughs> um, but I think as long as I'm not that will keep me inspired and moving forward operator oh won't you help me make this call You see the number on the matchbook is old and faded He's living in L.A. With my best old ex-friend Ray A girl he said he knew once but sometimes hated Isn't that the way they say it goes But let's forget all that And give me the number if you can find it So I can call just to tell them I'm fine and to show I've overcome the blow, I've learned to take it well I only wish my words could just convince myself That I just wasn't real But that's not the way it feels Can you help me place this call? 
Performing live where you feel most at home, or is it recording in the studio? I am fortunate enough to say that I prefer both. I love performing live, and I love performing in the studio. I don't feel like I'm defined by just one record or just one performance. So I can do both, and I'm really grateful for that.
Crouch, Stuart Duncan, Anthony Wilson. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, David Foster. Thanks for all for coming out tonight. All right. Do you sing and play for Elvis when you're relaxing at home? And does he do the same for you? Uh, well, Elvis and I have two beautiful children, uh, eight-year-old boys, and when we're relaxing at home in British Columbia, I do play the piano, and we all play for each other, and it's a wonderful thing.